Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of The Guido Goes Off. Um, thank you for watching. Of course I'm going to get right into it because, lord, things are getting crazy right now. Um, I'm sure everybody has seen it, has heard about it, and, you know, it's gotten coverage from all sorts of media outlets. Um, last night at um, the World Wrestling Council's Anniversario 34 show, uh, which took place in Puerto Rico. After um, Alberto El Patron's match at the event, Paige jumped into the Paige got into the ring and got down on one knee and proposed to him in the middle of the ring. Um, it should be noted that he did say yes. Um, the crowd popped humongously. Um, the video is up up uh there's plenty of places where you can see it um there's also uh something about pages uh video of pages reaction you know how she um didn't think that he expected it and probably didn't and well it's clear that page is apparently very happy Unfortunately, the same can't be said for everyone else. Um, there was a post um, by Paige on her Instagram um, related to the event. You know, if you love something, never let it go. I love this man, blah, 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 blah. But as I said, not everyone is happy about the situation. Um, Paige's father, Ricky Knight, uh, took to Facebook. Um, and in a very short post says, there is no way my daughter is marrying that man. I think it's very interesting. He did not refer to Alberto by name. He referred to him simply put as that man. Um, her uh, brother Roy Bevis chimed in as well, um, saying how, you know, it's you know it was wonderful for her, but he will do anything to protect his sister. This leads more um, to definitely a, a change in page, which I'm going to get to after I talk about another um, statement made. This one by the attorney of Alberto de Rio's wife, Angela. Reminding everyone, as if we didn't, as I'm sure some people might have forgotten, Del Rio, sorry, Alberto is still married. He then went on to warn Paige that this man has a history of cheating, and that never changes. So again, you have... A lot of people that aren't very happy, you have people that are warning her. And like I said, there's nothing that can be done until the divorce goes through and something tells me now that this is happening, this divorce could drag on um, for a very long time. Um, according to a source I read earlier, um, the divorce proceedings are being filed in Mexico. And from what I understand, it is a very, um, a very bitter proceeding. Um, for one both are going for everything. And again, this lends itself to this pattern of behavior in the past few months with Paige that clearly has a lot of people concerned. Um, People that have known her and have known her for a long time have said she has changed dramatically in recent months. Um, as we've covered, as I've covered on this show uh, several times, um, it's clear that there have been some physical changes, um, weight loss. Also, and also, of course, we can't ignore the white elephant in the room. That page has been suspended now twice by WWE for wellness violations. Um, again, we um, again the first the first time was first time was in August on her on her birthday she uh, 
was suspended, along with uh, Alberta. And now, uh, last Monday, uh, Paige was handed her second violation and a 60-day suspension. And as I covered in previous show, Paige is saying one thing, that it was a prescription drug that was given to her by the doctor that's treating her for her injury. WWE has stated that it's that it was not a prescription drug but an illegal substance. They did not, go, of course, elaborate on what substance and Paige doesn't elaborate on what drug she's on. And then Del Rio, sorry, I keep I keep wanting to say Del Rio, it's WWE name. Alberto um, took to Twitter a couple days ago uh, with what appeared to be a text on her on pa on Paige's phone. Uh, from her doctor stating her injuries, as we, um, which was uh, according to according to the text, which again, um, let's just go into that. Um, that there is that there was a hernia that there is a herniation at the junction of the C6 and C7 vertebra. So she has a herniated disc, which is pressing on the nerve root at the C7, at the C7 vertebra. Also said on there that there was wear and tear, a lot of wear and tear for someone her age. Well, you wrestle for 10 years, it's just going to show whether you're 24 or 44. But again, like we said, this, again, if when people are in love, we should be happy for them. But the thing is, this is a, a very, well, like I say, a very bad situation. As in, there's been almost a complete 180 in uh, Paige's mindset. Um, and of course, people are going by um, what happened on to on the show Total Divas, where. Um, she was proposed to by her um, now ex-boyfriend, uh, Kevin Scalf. Or she said she didn't want to get married. She wanted to live her life. Now, the couple did break up in December. This should be noted. And um, Paige started dating Del Rio, we believe, late January, early February. And again, you know, everybody everybody was fine with it when they found out. I mean, there's, of course, there's a lot of people saying, oh, she's dating, you know, the, the fact that Del Rio's age, the fact that he is still, was at the time and still is, legally married. And, but WWE didn't have any problem with that. And so, then, so the story went. But then... Clearly, things change as far as WWE's standpoint, where they were going to offer Del Rio a contract extension so that they could use um, the two of them on Total Divas, of which Paige is part of the show. But then things soured, and Del Rio, of course, wanted the out in his contract, which he got. And now you have the situation where it's, you know, ever since at least the first suspension, and now even even more so, uh, and plus with um, Paige having to take time off due to injury, not being able to work, that she has been spending more and more and more time with him. But as it's as it's seen, it's like clearly a physical toll has been taken on Paige. And it seems like everyone is against this. And you have to wonder if it is for good reason. Prior to Paige being in, Paige dating him, you know, everything's fine. She was hunky door. She was on top of the world. But now you've seen her body begin to she's begin, she begun to lose weight and you're seeing these changes mentally um again you don't want to assume the worst but you have but 
there's evidence there. We have a situation where clearly something isn't right. And a lot of people are seeing Del Rio as the source of all the wrong going on right now in Paige's life. Um, like I said, since that post, um, I do know that um, there's been some sources where some of the videos have been taken down. Um, I know that um, the post that uh, Ricky Bevis posted, uh, that has been deleted. Um, and there has been nothing on this on the situation you know since that post uh, from Paige from Del Rio and of course was the one that everybody's wondering about from WWE um, WWE has not commented on it all we know about the situation is she is suspended and um, her snippet in the raw pro in the Raw opening has been taken out. I believe it was replaced by TJ Perkins. So, you, you know, this is this is the third time on this sh the third episode in a row that I have talked about the situation with Paige and and about the worries that a lot of people have about her. Um, you know, again, you know. I want to put it, I want to just say that, you know, what she does in her personal life doesn't affect me whatsoever. But again, this is, and a lot of people want to, want to put this out, it's just like, you don't know her, you know, and you're right. But again, this is someone who, via a television screen, we all invite into our living rooms. And to this extent there's this there's a lot of concern for her and what worries me is that the more uh, people try to tear them, tear them apart the closer she's going to try to get to him it's not going to have the desired effect um, and it's clear that she's not listening to anyone um, but what her wild heart is telling her. Again, you, you worry. And I know a lot of people have, you know, just kind of washed their hands of the situation, but um, of course I'm going to monitor it because you don't, you know, like I said, you don't want to see this person get hurt or perhaps which I think is everybody's greatest fear, or worse. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode of The Guido Goes Off. Um, of course, I would like to know what your thoughts are on the Paige Del Rio situation. Um, you can feel free to drop a line, uh, put it down in the comment section below, and as always, feel free to talk to me via my uh, Twitter and Instagram. There's the address right there, at r underscore man underscore guido. And of course, while you're here, uh, feel free to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe so that you can get upcoming videos. Um, remember, this doesn't happen without you. As always, I'm the Guido, and I think we're done here.